welcome back to theme park wizard and today we're back with yet another epic universe update it's been a while because it's been so busy but i'm back by reconstruction is back with some awesome videos or sorry photos and now we are here and you can see today's gonna be a little bit of a different update it's gonna be a mix of daytime and nighttime photos thanks to bio reconstruction update so let's go ahead and check out these really cool nighttime and daytime photos of the beginning go ahead over here and start with celestial park you can see this brand new statue being installed over the lunar overlook this statue is called a uh, statue of luna and it's kind of in front of the park after you pass the chronos this is the which will be greeted with before and this is where the cascade of waterfalls will start this is the front statue of the luna and you can see uh the little moon structure here because luna is moon and that is her and you can see she's very tall she's like she's almost like a mermaid here and she's like gasping or withering and the or waiting in the water and then again there'll be waterfalls surrounding her cascading all the way to the back of the park over at the atlantic restaurant things are pretty much complete here um there's waiting for landscaping and water it, it, landscaping is coming in right now with more and more trees and the areas are put in for the water and they're just dirt now but they'll be filled in with water a little bit later there's an overhead nighttime shot look at those beautiful lights all the lights are construction work lights of areas are still working on so super nintendo world and wizard world of harry potter are getting the most work at the moment and the parking areas are just about complete over here is another area of the luna overlook here's just a wider shot of that you can see the waterfalls and cascading and there's the bridge they should have been concept art where there'll be a nice little bench bridge with lush trees that guests will be able to sit on and watch and just listen to the water and that is putting the park in theme Moving up to the Dark Universe, most of the stuff here is complete. They're still waiting on the topper for the Monsters Unchained attraction, but there are test dummies and a really close-up uh, version of the train of the Curse of the Werewolf Coaster, which looks very cool. There's another Curse of the Werewolf Coaster train testing with T-Trains, and I like the gold motif here. It looks very, very cool. Here are some of the classic monsters that will be featured in land. These are ported over from the Monsters Cafe. There's now Minion Cafe at Universal Studios Florida. That location closed. They took the three monsters from the top of the, the structure and ported them over here. They will be featured in various areas of the Ep uh, Dark Universe land and Ep Universe. There's the cast member parking cast and guest member parking lot for Epic Universe. Looks fantastic and is mostly all paved right now. And there's the Toll Plaza getting its roof structure down below. Close look at the Toll Plaza. Meaning its roof structure, this will be accommodating up to, according to Lisa, still at 14 lanes of cars, which will be wide enough to handle quite a lot of the capacity that this theme park will. Quick look at the entrance, there's the Epic Universe logo, looks absolutely great. All the medallions are installed and they've been testing them. Um, they're all spinning and the Cronus itself is spinning, um, which is pretty cool. Can't wait to see that in person. This is the Kirkman Road extension in that whole traffic circle that has to be built. For the buses and cars to enter epic universe this is looks like about 75 percent complete just got um, a couple more sections to put it and then they got to pave over the rest of it but making some good progress to be completed later on this year or early next year there's a nighttime shot of the grand helios hotel and its associated pool structure loving the little center pool bar there and the pool looks good as well so we're just waiting for water it's just about done though here's the Salanova and terra luna hotels with its parking lot both their parking lots lit up and you have the Stella Nova's um, hotel pool all filled up with water. Here's an overhead nighttime shot of the Harry Potter area. You can see every bit of that land is lit up. This is the land that is rumored to be a little bit behind and potentially could not open with the or maybe not open with the park, or the park might do a phased opening and at least the ride battle for the Ministry of Magic because it's so te technologically complex may not open with the land. You can see it has the most work going on because of all those work lights. It is shining like a bright light bulb there with the rest of the park, but this land looks great nonetheless. Rumor has it also that Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers thinks the land decorations are a little bit too stale and they have about eight weeks to, um, you know, spruce up the land to make it look more like Harry Potter. Moving over to the Isle of Burke, you have a nice wing ladder train sitting there moving, doing its daily test runs. And a nighttime shot of the Isle of Burke. Again, this land mostly looks like it's about complete because there's some work lights and the trenches. Again, Harry Potter and Wizarding World is, uh, you know, shining bright like a light. But 
while a burg is not, it's pretty dark, so it's pretty complete. Things are progressing pretty well there at nighttime. One of the things that they're working on is the testing of the coaster in the launch section. This is the first launch. Here you can see the, the lift, first lift till is shining bright, and the final break run is shining bright as well. There's a test, a train testing coming on that final braking break run into the station. Here's another great shot of the toothless animatronic looking absolutely fantastic here. Cannot wait to see him involved in the show scenes as well with Hiccup on the other side. Here's a nighttime shot of Starfall Racers, sorry, Stardust Racers. It's gonna, gonna, gonna take me a little bit to get used to the new name, even though I just did a whole video on the reveal video for Stardust Racers. But yeah, Stardust Racers looking pretty nice. The landscaping and service paths are done. Uh, station work is happening. And again, wow, I just can't believe how bright the Wizarding World of Harry Potter is. Battle of the, minist the Ministry land right there. Because, and there's so, there's so many lights, it's literally blinding. That's crazy. But yeah, Stardust Racers looking fantastic. We're going on, going on in the station. And first look at the trains look fantastic. I'll link that video up above to the right hand side. So you guys go check that out because it looks so good. Super Nintendo World is looking good as well. Super Nintendo World and Donkey Kong looking fantastic. A lot of work happening just mostly in the mush the center of the Mushroom Kingdom area on Mount Beanpole. Rest land, not much is happening. It's just about complete, and Donkey Kong has some sections going on as well. There's an overhead view of the nighttime shot. Most of the work is happening at Donkey Kong on the coast. I'm sure doing lots of testing. This particular coast is having issues in Japan. It is a prototype. Those to be expected, I'm sure they don't want to have those same issues when big open, so I'm sure they're working day and night to make sure it works properly. There's a daytime shot of the Donkey Kong coaster, and you have the, the Kong hut uh, being assembled, meet and greets, and snack shops, and all the good stuff. And there's Donkey Kong minecart with test dummies testing in the screaming pillar, trying to bite the truck over there. Here's the first launch with the cannon, or uh, was that barrel? and some screaming pillars lots of scaffolding lots of work here as we saw again in that nighttime shot that's where all the work is really focused uh continuing to do testing and theming to spruce up this area and get it all done in time for epic's open and here's another shot of entire mini land a lot of the theme pathways are being installed which looks really cool and there's the the gift shop looks almost done as well looks great i cannot wait to explore this land and really uh, this roller coaster it looks great and here's a nighttime shot of the Donkey Kong area. Looking looking pretty good too. You can see the themed pathways. And a lot of backstage stuff trailers as well. Some of those backstage trailers are actually being relocated leading to speculation that the Louise Luigi's Mansion or some other uh expansion of the Celestial Park may begin construction relatively soon. Here is the Golden Temple. Looking nice at nighttime. You can see some of that light nighttime lighting package. This thing will look fantastic at night. Lots of scaffolding on the um, golden uh, Donkey Kong head uh, that will be where the waterfall is. More testing continues on the Donkey Kong. This one, this train has no uh, no test dummies, just operating on the track. All I would say. That is going to do it for this week's relatively short beginner verse update. I feel like most of these will be getting shorter and shorter as the park gets towards completion and there'll be not much to really see at least on the outside so that's good i can't wait to go to an open park and show it all for you guys if you like this video press that thumbs up button and subscribe for more theme park updates if you want early access to these updates plus more perks consider becoming a member and supporting the channel even more other than that i hope you guys have quite the big day